what is up it is Connor Bots here and today I'm going to be talking to you guys on how to recreate the pixel effect used in the Big Sean music video uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about here's what it is in the video it's right there it's that pixel effect that you see go on it's actually pretty simple to make uh, I've had a couple people ask me about it so we're gonna do the tutorial today uh, first I want to shout out Jacob Owens if you don't know who he is the link is in my description go subscribe to him and follow him on Instagram right now the man is a beast kindest filmmaker that I've ever seen on the internet at least uh, amazing guy in general he'll help you get your filmmaking to a new level and make you a better confident filmmaker so go check him out he's amazing and we have to thank him for letting us use the red footage from one of his shoots so thank you Jacob you're a beast uh, go follow him guys honestly so we're gonna jump right into this tutorial right away and just get started so let me sorry I already started doing the effect before. All right, so the first thing you want to do is drop in your footage. Um, as you can see here, here's the footage uh, provided by Jacob Owens from his Red Raw, or the footage is Red Raw. Um, what I've noticed to do this effect is you want to make sure that your subject is lit well and that the background has a lot more darker tones. Uh, you don't want too much highlights in your background. Uh, I found that what works the best is a complete back or black uh, background because of the way how the effect works, you want your subject to be like the main focus that the effect applies to. Uh, so that's just my personal opinion. You can try it on footage that you've shot yourself. It may give it a cool stylistic look. Uh, you know, filmmaking is all about just going out and shoot stuff and creating and doing your own thing. Uh, so definitely go test out how you want to shoot it. But this is my recommendation on how to get the effect to work the best. So as you see, I've got the footage put in here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to make it black and white. So I'm going to add a tint to it. Drop that right into the effect. Uh, I want to get a spot like this. And then the next thing you want to do is I go to levels, bring that in, and I like to bring up my blacks and also bring up my whites. And then last but not least, the curves to go with that as well, just to really bring up the whites because you want her to be like a vampirish white uh, when doing this effect. And you'll see why in a second. So once you've got that done, you're going to hit Control C. Control V on your layer. You're gonna shut off the first one that you have down here. You're gonna go to layer, new. You're gonna go to camera, and really it doesn't matter what preset or what film size you want. Uh, I'm just gonna go with the 50 millimeter right now. Uh, you will set this to that 16 millimeter look. Um, and just leave it as camera one and put OK. Put that on top. And so you wanna go into your second layer of the footage and you're going to go into your effects preset right here and you're going to type in card dance it should be on a simulation and you're going to drop it into your effect now so now what you're going to do we'll leave it right here so we can see the actual effect work uh, first thing in card dance that you're going to do is where it says camera system you're going to change it from camera position to comp camera so it's working with this camera right here um, the next thing you want to do is you're going to go to your gradient layer where it says none and you're going to select the second layer right here then you're going to go to your z position open up your x scale and your y scale now for your offset i usually like to keep this at around 0.5 up to 0.8 uh recently i've found that 0.7 works great but uh you know it's up to you so we'll, we'll go you know we'll go 0.8 right here leave the multiplier at one but change your source to intensity all right, so now you're starting to see see things coming a little together. You want to change your X and your Y scales offset to the same thing that you set the Z position offset to. So we'll do 0 0.8, 0 0.8. Okay, so it looks a little funny right now. Uh, that's because we have to bring up our rows and columns, and this is the important part. So I find that with rows, I like to keep it anywhere above 250. Anything lower, you'll start to get... You know too much spacing it'll look kind of like this and you don't want that so uh we'll actually we'll just go 300 for right now you're like whoa that looks kind of crazy uh, it's supposed to <laughs> then columns uh as you can see that would be these you want to switch that to at least 300 or higher as well uh, i like to never keep it the same as the rows so like 350 or and see now you're starting to see the, the effect kind of come together you can see kind of all the little pixels that it makes and whatnot so now if we render it out It's a very heavy uh, GPU effect too, so it, it will take a little bit to render, but you can kind of see the effect kind of coming together and what it does 
I think it's a really nice effect to use, at least in music videos. If you used it in film, uh, please comment on your movie that you did it with, because I'd like to see the way you would use it in film. Uh, kind of interesting to see how everyone else's products kind of work with these effects and tutorials that we make, so that'd be cool to just kind of see. So you, you kind of get that effect coming on right here. And then this is where you can kind of just play with the effect to match it to what you want it to be. So let's say instead of 300 rows, let's say I want 400. Take a second. It looks like it didn't change much, but it popped way more around the eyes. And then all, like I said, you can add color to it. So if I wanted to just add a little bit of color, go to layer, new adjustment layer. And then I could just go to, uh, let's go color. Is it a uh, little colorama? You can just drop it right in that adjustment layer, bring it above the camera. It's like, ah, oh, that looks a little crazy. You start messing with different uh, different versions of the color. You know, just play with the effect on your own. Make it to what you want it to be for your video. But that's pretty much it, you guys. It's a pretty simple effect to create uh, to give a really good look to your next music video or film. Uh, gives it a, a totally new style that I haven't really seen a lot. Uh, so if someone can actually do it for a music video for the entire thing or work in a way to where it's a unique effect that kind of helps tell or progress the story, that'd be interesting to see. So if you do that, post it in our comments. I'd love to check it out uh, and shout you guys out for doing it. So thank you guys so much for letting me show you guys how to create this effect. Uh, if you have any questions or any other tutorials you want us to try to cover, just hit us up on, online on the Facebook or the YouTube and we will do our best to create that tutorial and help you succeed in making that effect so uh thank you guys and i will see you next time